Hey, this is Kyle. Um, today I want to talk about something that's really interesting. It has to do with a subject that a lot of people think is very technical. But I want to debunk the myth that getting a website set up on the internet all by yourself is a very possible thing to do. And so I took the opportunity because my brother came over to my house and he's asking me the same question. He's got a website and he wants to set up um, a website with a WordPress blog and he's asking for my help. And I'm going to show him how to do it, but I'm going to let you peek over our shoulders because it's so super simple to do. So let me just introduce you to my brother and then we'll talk about his website a little and then I'll jump in and we'll show you just how you can knock that out in no time. This is my brother. Say what's up. Hey guys. Um, hey. Uh, he, I used to live with him and then I just moved to this house so he's like 10 minutes away now and so he just hopped over and I'm going to show him how to do this. So what's the, the domain name of your website? Um, well, I, I have a few that I want to set up, but primarily VeronGraham.com. Uh, it's a personal blog um, that I'm going to be setting up and talking about various various things. It's actually a, a year-long challenge that I'm doing. Uh, we talked about it before. Um, so Cool, cool, cool. Actually, I just remembered something because what he actually has is he has a few domain names, like he said, and I'm going to bring them all under one umbrella, and he's only going to pay like 7 bucks a month for it through the company that we're going to use. And um, he's going to be able to host all of those sites. And anytime he has a new idea, he's just going to register the domain name. And going through these steps I'm going to show you, he's going to be able to get this uh, set up on, um, through a WordPress blog in no time. So I'm going to take you over to the computer now and show you exactly how we do that. All right. So to, um, to do what we're talking about is basically we're going to do it in three steps. Number one, we need to register a .com name. So that's a domain name. Um, number two, we need to hook it up to a hosting account. The hosting account is basically uh, the company that basically leases you a computer that contains your website um, information. And then number three, we need to set it up with a WordPress blog. Once you combine those three steps, um, you have a recipe for a very uh, quick and easy way to get a website set up, plus a quick and easy way to manage that website. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm here at GoDaddy.com. You probably already heard of it, and they're really good for just cheap domains. Now, GoDaddy also offers hosting, but we're going to bypass them because there is a, a, a company, in my opinion, that's better for the hosting part. So, essentially, what you do is you would just buy your domain name through here, and you set up an account, and then there is a um, a place where all your domains are held. Now, we already purchased the domain name. So I'm just going to jump into the place where the domains are held. So after you buy a domain name, you want to log into your account. So we're just going to do that right here. And go ahead and type in your password. 1234 is not a good path. I'm just playing. All right, so we're logging in. All right, so pretty much the place where you see all your domain names that you purchase is up here in the domain section so just grab the my domains and it's going to show all the domain names that um, he owns we're actually doing this right after the super bowl and godaddy just had a commercial so it's probably not a surprise why it's so slow right now all right, so these are all the domain names he owns, and we're actually going to take the domain name he just registered, or the domain name we want to apply, and click on it. So that's verongram.com. So just click on the domain name, and you want to look at this section here. Now, this is where people think it gets technical, but if you can get beyond this part, it's very simple. All you have to do is change these things called the name servers. And basically, the name servers represent you telling GoDaddy where your website is hosted. That's all it is. So we're going to come back to here and go to a company that I really like called HostGator. And HostGator offers inexpensive hosting. They have good service, and they're, very, um, they're, they're a very good company. So let's go to learn more, and let me show you the package to choose. You could choose the package for $4.95 a month, but since he has a portfolio of domain names, we're going to choose the baby package because it allows for more than one domain name. So 
we just order it here. Seven ninety five a month is very inexpensive because it does so you, because you have no limit to the amount of domain names you have you can use. So here we since we already purchased a domain name, we would just type it in here as verongram.com. But since we already went through this wizard, I'm not going to take you through it, and I'll just take you to the order page. And the order page basically said he did it; it was successful. And actually, since if you get this in the month of uh, February, you can get a nice 20% off discount if you use the word heart. All right, so it's going to be $7.96 instead. So once you do that, you're complete with the two steps. You have the domain name that you purchased from GoDaddy, and you have the hosting account from HostGator. So now we just need to connect the two. And the way we connect the two is through that thing I said called name servers. So all we have to do is really this simple. You just have to change these name servers to represent HostGator's name servers. Where are those name servers? Well, after you order the hosting, it's right there in your email. So I'll actually go to this email, the account information, and it says right here, your name servers. So all I'm going to do is just highlight that, copy it, go back to GoDaddy, and we're going to replace th this with those. So let's click on it. And we will just change name server one to that, and then name server two with that one. And that is the only technical part to this exercise, or very technical part to this ex exercise. Okay, now here they're trying to upsell us, so we're just going to say no, we don't want it. Okay, boom. And literally, that's it. Now, if we go to verongram.com now, we should see that it's at the new host account. But we haven't put anything on the host um, on the host site yet. Okay, so let's go back and now let's do the third step, which was to attach his domain name to a WordPress blog. So let me back up. We bought the domain name. We hooked it up with HostGator hosting, so now we have the domain name, plus we have a place where the, the website files are going to reside, and that's at HostGator. Now we need to add files to the website to represent the website, and the way we're going to do that is through WordPress. WordPress is a system that creates and allows you to manage your website, or really a blog. So the way we're going to do that is click on this thing that says blah 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 slash cpanel. cpanel is like your account configuration system. Okay, now go ahead and type your username and password in here. Alright. cpanel is something you want to get familiar with. cpanel takes, allows you to manage your entire website, all of the back end stuff. If you want to install WordPress or some other uh, popular scripts and stuff, you can do all of that through cPanel. If you want to um, set up an email address or email accounts, all through cPanel. But for now, I'm only going to show you how to quickly set up a WordPress blog. Okay, so the way to do that is you just go all the way to the bottom and you'll see this icon called. Uh, where is it? Fantastico. Fantastico is basically um, uh, 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 an add-on to cPanel that allows you to, in one or two clicks, install uh, large software packages such as WordPress. So Fantastico, and then look here at WordPress, and then we'll say we want a new installation. And then we just fill out the configurations. Install in what directory? We're going to say nothing because we want it on the verongram.com site. We just set up a username and password. Okay, and we'll say install WordPress. Okay, and that's it. It just installed it. We will say finish installation. And that, my friends, is how to set up a website, how to buy a domain name, set up a website with HostGator, and add a WordPress blog to it. Now, if you once you do that a couple times, 
I personally have the process down to like 10 minutes. I can have a website up and running on the internet in about 10 minutes. All right, let's go to the website and see if it works. Crossing my fingers. And there we have it. This is the website. Now I'll do some more videos on how to actually use WordPress to configure it to make it look the way you want it. But right now you have a website live running on the internet. And if you know anything about WordPress, you can um, manage, um, manage content on your website very, very easy. So all right, that's it. I'll uh, follow up later with some more information.